steam will carry the nitro gas into every building in the plant. As soon as the pressure hits 350 pounds, the gas will ignite and the whole place will blow up. Well, let's get out of here. Open up that master valve. Despite the attempt to blow up the entire Henley Techni Gas Works, only one of the buildings was destroyed, thanks to the timely arrival of Captain America. You should be proud of yourself. Captain America has made a fool of you on every job you attempt. We did our best. But Henley must have disobeyed your orders and squealed to the DA. Yes, Mr. Henley has consistently ignored my warnings. But I'm not beaten yet. This defeat cannot go unchallenged. Or none of the remaining members of the expedition will fear the scarab. What will you do? Eliminate Henley right under the district attorney's nose. Impossible. Henley's kept under close guard in the DA's apartment. There isn't a chance of even getting near him. We don't have to be near him. Thanks to a weapon devised by the ancient Mayan warriors. You mean the Sangari blowgun? Exactly. Our native Mayan agent, Zula, is an excellent marksman with a blowgun. We will post him where he will have an unobstructed view to the entrance of the district attorney's apartment. Here, Mr. Gardner. I've had about enough of this confinement. Your life is still in danger. You're here for your own safety. Oh, hang the safety. I'm neglecting important business. I'll accept full responsibility in case of further trouble, but you must permit me to go to my office. Very well, Mr. Henley. Only I insist that my men accompany you. Thanks. I'll be only too glad to have them. Clancy, you stay here. Yes, sir. your car around in front of the building. You're taking Mr. Henley to his office. I'll follow in my car. What's that thing? A poison dart. 
with your name on it. This should convince you that you're still marked for death. Attempt on life of J.C. Henley in dust of this foil. D.A. to investigate origin of ancient poison dart weapon. Hmm. What if that smart D.A. traces the blowgun here to the museum? That's hardly possible. Professor Grayson was the only one who knew I had it in my possession. He died over two years ago. No, Matson. We have nothing to fear from the district attorney. What is it, Mark? The district attorney is on his way in. All right, I'll be ready for him. Get out of sight. Then what brings you here? I have a clue which may lead to the man who made the attack on Mr. Henley's life. Yes, I read about it in the papers. A shocking exhibition of barbers. Fortunately, Mr. Henley escaped. And he's now safely on his way to a secret destination. We got the man who fired the dart. But this weapon, ever see anything like it? Hmm. A Singari blowgun. Used by the ancient Mayan tribes in primitive warfare. A valuable collector's item, Mr. Gardner. Any idea who might have had such a thing? No, no. The only person who could have helped you was Professor Grayson, an authority on darts and blowguns. Unfortunately, he died several years ago. Yes, I know that. I've already wired Professor Grayson's family, hoping they might know someone who could help me. Well, I hope you're successful, Mr. Gard. Thank you, Doctor. Good day. Bye. Shine, mister? All right, sir. a long-distance call from Robert Grayson in Northridge. Robert Grayson? The professor's grandson. He's deeply interested in the blowgun attack made on Mr. Henley, and he offered us his help. Young Grayson has made a close study of his grandfather's work. He's sure he can identify the blowgun and probably tell us who owned it. Fine. I'll arrange to have a chartered plane ready at Central Airport tomorrow morning, and you can find the weapon in Northridge yourself. I'll take a rain check on that charge, son. Keep the change. Here's some dope on the DA. He and the girl are going to try and have Grayson's grass and identify the blue gun. She's flying a chartered plane to Northridge from Central Airport tomorrow morning. That puts you in the spot. We're all in a fight. I thought you said that weapon would never be traced here. Grayson's grandson. I hadn't considered his staying in the old man's place. We'd better do something before the blue gun reaches Northridge. We're going to do something before that plane leaves Central Airport. We're from the DA office to check on that plane you ordered yesterday. It's on the field. You want to see it? Yes. Right this way. Tie him up and put him in there. I'll check with the boss. Right. Calling H1. Calling H1. Z1, calling H1. This is H1. Come in. We're all set. Plane is ready, and the mechanic's taken care of. Good. You'll have plenty of time to install the bomb. I'll have it wired in the plane before the DA gets here.
I'm the district attorney. My plane ready. Yes, sir. She's out on the field and ready to go. Fine. As soon as the motor starts, that bomb mechanism starts operating. And uh, when the clock makes ten revolutions, everything will go up. Come on, we gotta look busy. Good luck, Gail. I'll make it all right. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you. 